This is where you can go back to your Canadian childhood. The Royal Ontario Museum, located in Toronto, is one of the top 10 cultural institutions in North America. Attracting more than 1 million visitors every year, the ROM has become the most visited museum in Canada. Founded in 1914, the museum is Canada's largest and most comprehensive museum with 13 million artworks, cultural objects, and natural history specimens. This March, the Royal Ontario Museum will be the exclusive Canadian venue for Winnie the Pooh, exploring a classic. Winnie the Pooh has a special place in the hearts of many Canadians for a historic reason. Harry Colburn, a Canadian veterinarian, purchased a female black bear cub named Winnie after his hometown of Winnipeg. Colburn then brought Winnie with him to England and donated Winnie to the London Zoo. A young Christopher Robin Milne met Winnie and became so enamored of her that he named his teddy bear in her honor. Seeing his son's interest and love of the bear, A.A. A. Milne introduced the Winnie the Pooh character to readers through poems and then later in his Winnie the Pooh stories. The exhibition organized by London's Victoria and Albert Museum presents the real-life people, relationships, and inspirations that helped shape Winnie the Pooh, his friends, and his home in the 100 Acre Woods. There are nearly 200 original sketches, manuscripts, letters, photographs, and memorabilia about the beloved character. Visitors will be reminded of the valuable life lessons in the books that have stood the test of time with families around the world. I love the introduction that tells the, the, the story of uh, a serviceman from Winnipeg adopting the bear and how that bear made its way across the Atlantic and we see some of the original manuscripts and photographs of that story. That's the Canadian part. Uh, but then I also love the part where kids and families can play, where you have a, a bridge over a brook that kids can cross while they understand something about the Winnie story, or uh, a, a, an example of the Hundred Acre Wood where they can experience uh, the joys of the story of Winnie the Pooh and then go down a slide. So there's a very experiential, family-friendly part there. And then for adults that remember all of the extraordinary illustrations, there's a section of the exhibition that shows this wonderful collaboration between the writer Milna and the illustrator Shepard and how they work together. And you can see all of the original drawings that you really can't see anywhere else. I would say this project was about two years in the making between our relationship with the Victorian Albert Museum and our own work here at the ROM and it involves dozens of people around the museum because to develop an exhibition you have to have a curator, you have to have designers, you have to have photographers, you have to have what are called interpretive developers who figure out how it's all going to come together and uh, people that represent collections and take care of collections um, PR people, marketing people, almost every part of the museum is involved in the development of an exhibition like this. I had met Lindsay Maddock, who is the great-granddaughter of the serviceman, uh, Lieutenant Colburn, who brought the, the bear to London, and we talked about could we tell that part of the story. And so we were thinking about that probably as long as three, almost four years ago, and then when the Victorian Albert let us know they were doing their project, we said let's bring them together. As a Canadian, uh, I would say that first, Winnie the Pooh means so much to people wherever they are in the world. Whether they're here in Canada, or whether they're in England, or whether they're in Vietnam, it's this wonderful, beloved character that is both whimsical, but also has wise things to say, hidden in all that whimsy about the world. And for me, particularly here in Ontario, we have the pride of knowing that the, the black bear cub that inspired Christopher Robin and, and uh, Milna and Shepard to create the story of Winnie the Pooh has its origin right here in Ontario.